it's had a uh, press conference and uh, uh, the topic was ease of doing business uh, i have uh, i personally would like to uh, very heartily compliment the andhra and the telangana government uh, because i think that uh, uh, the effort they have made on the topic of uh, ease of doing business is probably amongst the best relative to other states in the country and i'll urge other country other states in the country to uh, copy the model uh, so they are definitely forerunners in in terms of ease of doing business you asked me a question about uh, banks so there i would like to say that the biggest uh, uh, issue which is threatening the banking sector today is the large nps the mounting of nps and um, there's been a lot of talks in the last few quarters and months uh, to resolve this and i'm very uh, happy that the government is very mindful about it and uh, in recently announced uh, uh, recent ordinance which the central government took out clearly indicates the intent of the central government to resolve this issue and that ordinance has given uh, much more powers to rbi to deal with this issue uh, in more specific cases uh, in a very pragmatic manner and uh, i think uh, uh, going forward i'm very hopeful that as soon as these resolutions start to happen the rbi will take uh, uh, definite action and uh, oversight committees are being put in place and rbi is putting up an internal advisory co uh, committee and once these uh, proposals go through these committees the bankers also who take the decision need not be worried about uh, being hounded by any investigating agencies uh, in future etc so uh, one of these once these resolutions start to happen we will see a uh, lot more credit offtake which has been slow in the last few quarters and we'll see a lot more uh, private investments both domestically as well as in case of fdis so you know we the npas have been uh, primarily in the steel sector in the infrastructure sector uh, and in the telecom sector include and also power sector so these are the four areas uh, i would say which have which constitute the major part of the npas and then of course we have a lot of uh, other areas like uh, textiles etc which have uh, also have uh, contributed to the nps uh, mounting nps but these are the four areas which are primarily responsible for the nps these are uh, and most of these companies have built large assets uh, very viable assets but due to lack of demand or other specific issues concerning each specific industry they have uh, over the years become an npn account so you know being an industry chamber we have made several uh, recommendations to the government and uh, i would like to uh, we are also put up a uh, we put together a, a, a small committee to further uh, give suggestions to the government to resolve this npa issue and one of the suggestions which is uh, emerging is that with all the intent uh, good intent of the central government to resolve this and with all the uh, new policies which the government have announced uh to uh, spur demand and investment uh, all of that to translate into actual demand uh, at the at the ground level might take some time so uh, the rbi should uh, be uh, requested to uh, allow the banking industry to recognize npas of especially the core sector industries power steel you know infrastructure etc to recognize their npas not in 90 days but should be given a little bit more leverage to recognize them over 180 days in that case a lot of these npa issues will come down uh, npa recognitions coming down the npa problems will come down and it will be a big respite for both the banking fraternity as well as the industry